we were a generation that like loved emo music. <laughs> we loved a, literally a genre that has to do with emotions and feeling r- very deeply. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there, and then you can talk about what was happening historically during that time too. There was um, the AIDS epidemic was right. happening during basically the entire time Pluto was in Scorpio mm-hmm. um, and how that kind of encoded in our DNA like to have sex means you could die. Yeah. Um, how, how Scorpio. How Scorpio the is that? Sex, death, and rebirth. Yeah. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, Pluto. Right. Yeah. So, so, yeah, there's, I think, a lot of depth in, I mean, there's depth in any generation, but I think um, when it comes to using, again, like empowering ourselves with these like more magical and then also empathetic tools. Um, that's definitely a signature of, of our generation. Yeah. It's also a, a bit of a medicated generation, too. Yeah. So as we move into this uh, earthy and airy 2020s, which is going to be more practical, more head over heart, mm-hmm. you know, uh, Scorpio being a water sign and so empathic. Um, I'm curious to hear what you think that's going to be like for the Pluto and Scorpios. Like, how will they... How can they bring healing gifts, but what might they have to navigate? Right. Well, a big part, uh, a big signature of Pluto and Scorpio is the Uranus and Neptune in Capricorn as well. Uh, most of us have that. Um, yeah, this is a generation that was born with this chunk of outer planets in Capricorn. Right. Uranus, Neptune, and some uh, Saturn, right. which is really powerful. And so you're kind of these wise old souls. Yeah, I really, I do believe that. Um, yeah. and I think that with that, we obviously have a lot of challenges in terms of, um, anxiety and mm-hmm. there's just this feeling of like, it's never going to be okay. Or we are not standing on solid ground and having to navigate that, um, which has been true. And just like growing up during the financial crisis and, yeah the climate crisis. Um, so there's there's that aspect of it, but I also think that the Uranus-Neptune gives us you know, the tools to be able to navigate it as well. Um, How do you think that, like specifically? I mean, I think, I think a big part of that is we've revolutionized the way that we go about work. Um, we, I, I don't think, I don't see our generation um, you know, sitting in cubicles and kind of having a nine to five, like yeah. a lot of us do, but a lot of us don't. We Yeah. There's the gig a economy flexible now. Flexible workspace right. and the gig economy. So Uranus rules revolution and Capricorn rules the workplace. So uh, really, uh, as the as Saturn's been in Capricorn uh, and all these people are having their Saturn return, who are 29, 30 now, there's been a real, I've noticed, a real push to change the way we work and, and bust up the kind of the old paradigms. Right, yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, I, I mean, I think, again, that Uranus-Neptune combo, it's like we, we just can't, we can't be contained in yeah. a normal workspace. Um, and so, yeah, there, it's been a, a huge push into figuring out more sustainable ways of living, especially mm-hmm. in regards to work. Um, we're just like we're too anxious to sit at a desk all day. (laughs) 